Rob McKillop's rhythm study can be played in one of two ways, either with picking or with a combination of strumming and picking. The aim is to get the hammer and the pull off to work nice and clearly. To do that, you need to get the string that will be having the hammer or pull off applied to sound very clearly to start with. If you have a soft, we don't hear much, but if you have a strong, we get a little bit more chance of that hammer being heard. This is a short string that we're working with on such a small instrument, so we don't get a whole lot of sound out of there. If we strum, we have the danger of the sound being overpowered by the other strings we've strummed as well. So we've got a number of obstacles to overcome to get the effect to work. However, even if the sound is not clear, try to keep the flow of the piece going. We are practicing a number of things here. One is the hammer and pulls, the other is the 5-4 rhythm. 5-4 timing is not generally counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 evenly. Very often it's divided into a set of three and then two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or in this case, he has subdivided into the quavers. So we're actually looking at 10 mini little beats in the bar. And he's done them in a set of three, three, and then two, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very unusual timing. To get that feel, we will need to keep going whether our hammer and pull-offs have sounded or not. Okay, the good news is the more that you do them, the better they will become and the stronger your fingers will become. The most effective ones are achieved by getting a very rounded finger. That is quite tough. You will find even as I'm playing, my fingers might be slightly flatter to get the finger to land on the string as I want it. The more you practice, the more you're able to get on the tip. So I need to practice too. <laughs> we're going to set the metronome to tempo 96 to start with. And we're going to begin by trying with the plucking of the strings with three fingers. Okay. When we do that, we're going to need to aim to get the ring finger to pick a little harder than all the others, so that as we apply the hammer on the first string and later the pull-off, we're going to hear it. Try and pick so that the ring finger really sounds clearly. Pause the video there until you can get that to work. Now, I would suggest playing in second position, which means that finger number one sits in the second fret. When we do the hammer on fret five, I'm going to suggest using your ring finger, the third finger, so that we have an extra finger, the pinky, available when we get to bar five and need to hammer seven. When you're ready, we're going to put this on tempo 96, and we're going to try and pick just the first bar four times. You can do that repeatedly until you've got a nice clear sound. Again, you might like to pause the video and do that without me for a while until you can really hear that first string ringing out well. Then we're going to try bar number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here comes bar number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm now moving my tempo up to 112 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can continue to move your metronome up because we are working on a quaver beat moving it up in larger numbers doesn't matter too much i jump it up at about 15 20 at a time i'm going to jump mine right now to tempo 160. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, let's move on. Tempo 192. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. speed that I have on my metronome is 208. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
I'm going to try bar one, two, and five, this time with a strum. If I strum, I'm going to use this first finger in a flicking motion. My thumb stays put so that I am ready to pick it when I need it. Try that a few times until you can get that motion without the thumb following the finger down. Often when we strum, we strum with the whole arm. In this kind of strumming, we are only flicking the finger. It gives us a nice strong sound. Tempo 96, bar one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bar five. 